kudos to Mark Gurman and, and the, uh, the the rumor mongers because they got it all right. There was nothing they didn't get. Was there? I don't think so. Even the prices were accurate. Yeah, I, I didn't miss anything. No, nope. uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't see anything that they missed. Three ninety nine. That might have been. I think so, I've seen some people say four fifty for the iPhone SE. Three ninety nine for the sixteen gig. Uh, there is uh, no thirty two gig. They jump right to sixty four. That's the one you want, obviously. And uh, what what is that one? Is that a hundred bucks more? I think it is four ninety nine. Uh, it is an iPhone. It looks like an iPhone five. They won't sell the i five S anymore. This is going to replace it as the small iPhone, but not underpowered. It is a roughly a six yeah. S, right? It's a six S in everything but force, touch, and size. Uh, it's got the same CPU. It's got the same. It's got the same camera. Which is a huge, huge Big win. Deal. Yeah. I'm uh, oh, sorry. The, the 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 12 megapixel main camera, the 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 selfie camera is the, the basically the same one as you got from the 5s. But okay, who cares about that? You still get 4K video. You still get 12 megapixel sensors. You still get the same quality of images uh, that you're going to get from that. Uh, it really and it's it, you get all the uh, all the radios you need to get all the all your health kit sort of stuff working there. You get the same uh, connectivity radios. You get the same. Uh, Touch ID, you get the same Apple Pay. It really is, they didn't want to, I think Apple definitely, when they were designing this, they didn't want them to, to create a second class uh, phone. So any product, any service, any accessory that is uh, current for the uh, for the 6S is going to work perfectly fine uh, on the new SE. Is it a big deal there's no 3D Touch? I don't think so. Uh, there, I, I, I'm a big fan of 3D Touch, but Apple still needs to sell the point of here's why 3D touch is more important than simply press and hold. Yeah. There is a bunch of stuff that will – I think that uh, I was looking at the, some of the rundowns. Obviously, I haven't, hold, I haven't uh, held uh, the uh, the SE yet. Uh, but uh, for instance, uh, 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 I, keep, I keep forgetting what they call the, the pictures that move. What, 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 what's the BS name they came up with that? Uh, the the, the uh, live photos, there it is. Uh, on live photos on the uh, 6S, uh, you get you make the pictures move by by using uh, force touch. On the SE, you just touch and just hold, hold and you will get the animation. Same right? thing, right? So it's, I, 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 not, I don't think that's a big deal. Uh, it might be a big deal next year when more developers start thinking about it in terms of uh, something intrinsic to the interface as opposed to just here's an alternative to touch and hold. Uh, but it really this sensation. I, I love the price point. I love that the 16 gig version is 399 bucks uh, because by the way, uh, we don't normally recommend 16 gigs, but I think that for the audience this is for that might not be a bad choice, right? If you're if you're using, you know, if you're buying a four inch phone, you're not loading it up with a lot of content. Right. Uh, also, Apple is uh, Apple is uh, making the point that, well, you've got Apple Music. Why would you want to keep, right. have four or five gigabytes of, of music on there? Uh, it is a compact phone for people who don't have big screen needs for it. Uh, the fact that it's a, the, the the battery life is going to be superb. I'm actually considering buying one just as a camera. I've been sort of oh, navigating this idea because I, I love the I love the camera on my uh, Nexus 5X, but it's not the same speed. It's not doesn't no, have the same software. Yeah, and I was actually considering. Well, if I had a budget of four hundred dollars just to buy like a standalone pocket camera, what would it be? Wow. And now it's like, wow. well, why don't why don't just buy an iPhone if actually, you want a mobile right. camera? Always on. You know? Is it exactly so? It's exactly the same as in the as in the six S. As I understand it to be, it is exactly the same as the six S. Not yeah. the six S plus. It doesn't have uh, no optical OIS. stabilization. Yeah. But supposedly it will take the exact. It has the same flash, I believe. Wow. Uh, it doesn't have the same front-facing uh, selfie yeah, yeah. flash because that requires a special uh, a special screen to make that happen. Uh, but it no, really, I thought they is... said it did have Retina flash. Yeah, it does have the Retina. Flash. It has Retina okay. flash. Yeah. yeah, that's a Sorry, dopey that's... flash. I mean, it's just the screen gets really bright. <laughs> Three times <laughs> brighter than normal. <laughs> but it's better. But it's better than nothing. It, hey, it does it's a work. flash. I mean, it yeah. is. It's a front-facing flash. <laughs> Uh, I'm, I'm glad. I'm, I'm glad that Apple didn't just think, well, if we can't do this perfectly with like three camera, hair light, backlight, we're not going to do it. It's like, well, okay, we can add, we can add yeah. a different display technology to overdrive it. So, okay, why not? Let's yeah. do it. There's that, so many. That, that is a very, that, that is a very Tim Cook decision, I think. It's an interesting. What you say is interesting though, because, uh, admittedly, you know, I mean, you could for 400 bucks, you probably could get a better camera with zoom and stuff, but you wouldn't get all always connected. You wouldn't get the software choices, all the different apps. Uh, that yeah. I mean, there's so many interesting apps available on the iPhone. 
You also um, you also wouldn't get uh, a, a camera that has a battery that will simply last and last and last if you're right. not using it. That's a good point. Uh, that, yeah. That, that was something when I was looking at the idea of buying like a Sony uh, RX100 Mark II, which you can get for about 500 bucks. One of my difficulties was I want to have a camera that I can just simply have in my pocket, and even if I don't use it for three or four days or five days, I'll still have some battery in there. So I, I'm 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 insist. I know that this is an edge case sort of thing, but that's a really attractive price. They didn't. It doesn't look like they cut this down at all. They yeah. just. They. It seems like they just explicitly said there's some people who would like to have a, an iPhone, but they don't want to have a large screen, larger screen phone. They need something more compact, and so we're selling it to you. And if it also allows us to compete with. Uh, some of the exceptional Android phones that are out there that cost between $250 and $450, uh, all the better. One of the things Apple said is that they'd sold, what was it, 30 million four-inch phones last year. So it's a big yeah. market still. And I have to think that internationally it's going to be a big market. Apple's never made a cheap phone, but I think by being able to sell a $400 good iphone with a small yeah. screen that may be a that may be a massive market and that's what apple's looking for right now they know they're they've reached peak iphone there was only one percent growth last quarter uh and so they're i think they don't expect the next big thing but what they'd like to do is keep whittling away at the market so yeah, yeah. 30 million as, four inch iphones sold last as year. usual i wish i wish they broke that down by country uh, because there are countries that are a lot more price sensitive. So are they, do they really want four inch phones or do they want a phone that costs less than $600 is the, is the big question. Yeah. Um, also they, they, uh, they, they, I think that they've even acknowledged that the key to growth is to try to sell the iPhone in places where they haven't been selling uh, very much, very many of them. So it's not as though they're saying, well, here's where all the bacon is coming from. So let's keep selling, let's keep shipping hogs to those countries. They are, they really do have their eyes on India. They've been speaking about the Indian market the same way that they would coyly speak about where the wearables market uh, a year and a half ago, two years ago, you know, the same, the sort of language that says that we definitely have plans to address that. But of course, we're not going to talk about it until we actually ship something. So uh, this isn't cheap enough to really uh, get into that market, but it's a step in the right direction, certainly.